We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. to get us started now the kicker Chris Boswell and we are underway from the city beautiful this will be taken in at the one together here from the D-line. The first carry for DeAndre Washington. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. Mike Singletary, the one to bring him down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Second down, Washington. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Third down, Roethlisberger. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. J.J. Nelson, the intended target. And now it's fourth down. I know the initial focus was on how far that pass was downfield, but how about the coverage on the play? Able to stay with him, get his hands where the receiver's hands were going to try and catch the ball, tips it up in the air, and knocks it away. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Steps away to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. The one running back is Gurley. And they'll give it to him here. And some room to maneuver. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Looking to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch, too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Look to throw on third and goal. He'll buy some time right. He may try and run for this. Just a one-yard pickup on the play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. 
Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. Come on, let's go. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Now we'll see what his offense can do. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, and keep them moving. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The Stork Hall of Famer Ted Hendricks. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Let's go! Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Javon Curse in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Now Ben on third and long. Looking for his tight end, Clay, and it's intercepted. Picked off by... And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. And he'll bang that one through. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. of two and it'll be second down. Brandon, that play ended so fast it's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner and the tackle was there right away for a loss of yardage. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. They go play action with Roethlisberger. And he can't bring it in. Incomplete. He dropped it on the crossing route. Fourth down now. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. 
That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. Here we go! They'll try and throw for it here. And he's got Fitzgerald. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. Anytime you call man coverage against Larry Fitzgerald, you're really holding your breath as a defensive guy because his ability to run such precise routes and use that big frame that he has, that body, against you, it's going to be very difficult to break passes up against him. Yeah, when you make nine Pro Bowls in your first 12 years, you might want to give him a little bit more coverage than that. Yeah, it's not just athletic ability. He's a thinking man's receiver as well. And now the passing game here in the second quarter is starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Now a play fake here. On, and no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The Stork Hall of Famer Ted Hendricks in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. They're going to look to throw. Left side here, caught by Clay. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Defense sinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. And it's Ha Ha Clinton Dix with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack. And this is caught at the 20. And all the way in for the touchdown. Their big body receiver, 79 yards. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And with a new rule, that decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he only gets to the 20. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front buying that time. time? Yeah, how does that happen? And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Charles Haley in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Play action. Now Wilson. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Champ Bailey. Now this offense ready to take over again. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time. See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. 
And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll come out in the pistol. A play-action fake. They'll look to throw. He gets it left side to Johnson. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Back to throw now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Deep drop. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on third down. In this situation, it's really tough to figure out how to defend because they have plenty of room to still take deep shots at the end zone as they just did there. Yet at the same time, you've got to be ready for the short throw. In this case, when you see the cue that they're going for the end zone, retreat and make sure you have a way to play forward. Back towards the receiver and have a chance to bat the ball. The pressure comes and the Steelers take him down. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. It's a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they get the field goal near the end of the first half to expand that lead. Now that's got to feel good, but they can't let up. Now on the kickoff, they've got to make sure they don't give up a big return or big yardage to set up the other team for one last chance to score themselves. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. One receiver left, three to the right. They go back to the air here after the INT. And now this is intercepted, my goodness. A great read, and it's picked off. There he goes, left side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on, come on. Fine. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. They'll start the drive with Washington. And oh, it caught it up. And the defense will get their hands on it, going the other way. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter.
So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, Brandon, so much for halftime adjustments. They still can't get anything going on the ground. It may be time to loosen things up and start flinging it around a little bit. They come up in an offset eye. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Tackle made there by Quentin Dimps. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there, and it helps him move the sticks. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. He'll find Clark open right side, and he is out of bounds just a yard or two shy of the 10. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the deep. Now a whistle and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. First down, it's Gurley. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I believe I understand where the offense was going there. They just hit a big pass play, thought they could fool him with a run, but maybe they overthought it a little bit. Just hit a nice pass, come back with another one, keep the momentum going. They'll look to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll be third and ten now. I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> well, here we go now. Extra defensive back in there on third and ten. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> and he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. They're going to hurry back to the line now. 
We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. They come out here in the eye to throw here Roethlisberger. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. Oh, looked like they got someone to jump there. And if that's the case, this will be a first down. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. Fighting his safety valve here, that's complete. It's a nine yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. Over the middle and caught by the tight end play. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Welcome back live to Orlando. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now Washington. And a solid run down inside the 30. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And now they're in the hurry up. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Javon Curse in there to get him for a loss of five. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. And all the gamble fails. It's incomplete. doesn't work out. concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Back to throw now on second and 10. He's going to look deep down the field. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, and it's third down. Well, they decide to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. They come out here in the eye 
They're going to look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off here by C.O. Moore. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden, it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Give him seven on the play. And it'll make it second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, Wilson. Looking for his tight end, Clay, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Back to throw here. He's going to air one out. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. That was a long pass attempt downfield, and the ball was popped up in the air. And how come things go from really fast to almost slow motion when the ball's up in the air and the defender's unable to haul it in before it hits the ground? Got to be careful here. Backed up this deep on third down. Time for a break. And that's incomplete. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. Now a fair catch called for and taken here, and that'll set up his guys in great field position. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They go play action now. Roethlisberger. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Charles Clay is tied in the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before taking this down to the eight. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Yeah, a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now whistles here before the snap, but it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. A 
possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. This time, Wilson will throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Lawrence Taylor in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. And quickly, they get to the line. There's Wilson to throw. And that is incomplete. This has been a really nice day for the defense. They've made it so difficult to find open receivers because they're able to squeeze the passing lanes down. A lot of what they're doing is communicating. Receivers in one area, receivers in another area. They're almost what they call passing them off from one defender to the next, even in zone defenses, and making it very hard to find an open spot for the quarterback to deliver the ball. This one won't bounce their way. It's covered up by the hands team. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And they're going to speed things up here. He'll look to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And he works it. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Here we go. It's Gurley. Give him three on the play, and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. Yeah, on fourth and inches, you've got to be quick with your decision-making when you're running the football. You've got to find the hole and go. And he does a nice job here picking up the first down with a few yards to spare. So it'll be first down here after the run. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Back to throw. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Looked like it might have been intercepted, but he's out of bounds. And a good thing, too, probably. That would have cost him yardage. But now they'll get the ball back on the turnover on downs. And you know, winning is good for all the obvious reasons. But if for nothing else, it makes tomorrow's film session a little more palatable, doesn't it? Oh, indeed it does. Sometimes it helps you in the grading because the coaches will look at it, and if, if it's a borderline play for you, if you won the game, you might get a plus in your column instead of a minus. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.